Good morning guys, my name is Andrea and today I'm here to share with you 10-15 ideas on baby presents that you can get for your one year old. Uh, my daughter Amber is turning one in a couple of weeks and I got her some of these things and I'm also planning on getting her some more uh, next week on Sunday when we're gonna go to Smith's Toy. Um, around here it's one of the biggest ones in England so I'm thinking I'm going to vlog it and I'm going to take you with me. So if you don't want to miss that, remember to subscribe and hit the bell button. So you'll get, you're going to get a notification and you're not going to forget the videos coming out. But yeah, I'm going to share with you all my ideas because I know how hard it can be uh, to find a present for your baby. So idea number one is to get them a baby doll. Emily didn't have one until now and I think it's going to be such a good idea to get her one and to get her to learn how to take care of um, you know another baby and how um, you know she can share her bottles and stuff like that with baby doll I think it's gonna be so cute for her to have one and so that's um, one of the first things they got her and I was waiting to get it for her birthday so she's gonna understand a little bit more um, of what's going on and then another thing we, we got her is a pull-along toy like one of those wooden ones that has a string and once they start walking they can pull it along uh, and play with it I think that's um, one of the items that a lot of babies between 12 and 18 months play with so if you're interested you can find pull-along toys anywhere you can find them in like plastic you can find the wooden ones which I think are prettier um, but you can find them anywhere and then above that you can get them uh, wooden blocks i think wooden blocks at this stage is a very good idea because they can learn and you know uh, interact with them you can you can get them a set of like lots of building blocks or you can get them um, just the normal standard square ones uh, with like numbers or letters on them that's completely up to you but that's another thing that i'm gonna be um probably getting for amberly for her birthday um along with um, a hammer bench I got her one already and I'm not gonna lie I already gave it to her because um, I wanted her to see like I wanted to see if she would like it and she absolutely loved it um, I showed it I showed her how to use the hammer um, and she would she would pick it up and, and do it herself and it was so cute to watch so I think a hammer bench at this stage can actually be a very good interactive toy that they can interact with and they can learn from you um, how to use it so I think that's another great idea um, and another, another thing they got uh, her at the same time uh, the thing they got her at the same time is also a shape sorter. I know that they are. Uh, the thing they got her at the same time is also a shape sorter. I know that they are everywhere, and you can also get an activity cube if you didn't want to get just a shape um, a shape sorter. But there is so many, um, so many of them around. Like you can find literally any shape and every kind of them. You can find them wooden. You can find them in plastic. You can find um like the flat ones or you can find like the activity cube like there is so many out there got, <laughs> i also got her a wooden uh puzzle um puzzle so like a wooden puzzle like you know one of those ones they it has a shape and it's like it can be an animal or it can be like the animal one like the farm one and they have to, they can take the animals out um pull them out and then put them back in in their shape so it's similar to the shape sort but it's a puzzle so they have to um by the picture they see on the board they have to match it with the uh, object they have in their hand so they have to put the piece back into the puzzle i think it's again uh, a toy that they we learn to use more with time but it's a good start to get it at this age for them to uh, figure out how that works and then last week um, we went and got um, off of Facebook market marketplace for an amazing price we only paid 10 pounds uh, we got her a rocking horse um, I love um, I loved the idea of her having a ho rocking horse and now that she's actually um, you know, sitting on um, on stuff like little cars and interacting with them. I thought that um, a rocking horse would be a very good idea. And when I saw this one on Marketplace, it was in such good condition for only £10, I had to go and get it. So my advice is have a, have a look at Marketplace because there's so many kids out there they're gonna probably use a toy like once or twice and then it's gonna get sold for nothing on Marketplace instead of getting a new one. Um, when I looked at new ones, they were like, uh, 10 uh, sorry they were like 
50 pounds 40 pounds the cheapest one so i think it's a very good idea to have a look on marketplace there's so many rocking horses out there and they're so good and um i think it's such a good toy for them to have and also I think it also looks good in the baby room, like if you have a rocking horse, but that's just some, something else, like it doesn't matter. But what I'm saying is it's not like one of those very bright and horrible toys um, that you're going to have to keep in your house. I think it's actually quite a cute, uh, like quite a cute, good looking item to have in your baby's room. On top of that, another thing that I found on Marketplace is a play kitchen for your baby. So, you know, like one of those wooden, um, like, um, small kitchens that you can put in your living room and they can interact with them it's got cupboards and different items they can open the cupboards and put things in and take things out and then you can get them all of these um second like you know other items like uh, wooden and uh, toaster and like um board where they can cut and chop vegetables and fruits in the kitchen i think it's such a good idea and if you can get one in aldi they're like 35 pounds and it's just cheapest cheapest option out there but at the same time you can also find them on marketplace and then again because she likes to get on toys and like experiment that way we also think that a ride on toy it's a good idea so she can learn to push herself along with her feet and like you use it um ride on toy around the house i think it's gonna be a good idea you can get one of those like it looks like a bicycle or you can get lots of different shapes and forms you can get cars you can get um, as i said bicycles you can get like ones that look like horses and stuff like that so there's like a big selection out there of ride on toys. and then we go into things that require a little bit more space um if you have a lot of space if you have a playroom for your baby i think it's a very good idea to get them a soft play um like corner or just some soft play items that you can put there for them to play with Amelie loves soft play she has learned to climb and she is now like climbing on top like on on the sofa and cushions and stuff like that so if you have space for a soft play I would get it for her but we don't have enough space in our living room uh, but if you do have space I think a soft play even a couple of um, soft play items just literally like a slide bit and like a bit where they can climb or some stairs I think it's very good and it would keep them busy for so long like just getting up and down on the soft play um, I think it's just gonna keep them busy for a long time so if you have the space that's a good investment and along with that you can also get a tunnel um, where they can go in from one side and come out at this side and that again is going to keep them busy for so long unfortunately we don't have enough space in our house for that stuff but that is such a good idea if you have a playroom or if you have enough space in your living room that is literally going to keep them busy for for hours I, I promise you that and then the easiest thing to get babies um is our books books are never gonna uh, they're never gonna be old fashioned um they're gonna last them for a long time and i think it's a very good idea um to get them books um because amelie right now is obsessed with books like i i um swap it every week and i leave a book in her play basket and she's loving it she loves to play with books at the moment so i think getting her a couple of books for her birthday is not going to be a bad idea i think it's always a, a good investment because books can last for such a long time um so we're gonna definitely get her a couple of more uh, books for her birthday and as i said they're just the easiest thing you can get them anywhere um they don't require a lot of space and it's always very good for them to learn um to you know to like to read books and stuff so these are my ideas for now. I mean, they are not everything that you can get your baby. You can definitely get your baby so much more stuff. But these are the things that I think at this stage um, of the life, um, they're going to interact with and they're going to learn to use and they're going to adore playing with these things and it's going to keep them busy for a long time. So you mums can get along, like can get on with your life and like do a bit of cleaning or just relax on the sofa while your baby is playing with a soft play or is playing with the tunnel or you know is doing something else so i think that these toys are a good idea and they're gonna keep babies at this stage very busy and they're very good learning toys for them so let me know what you think in the comments if you liked the video leave a like remember to subscribe and i will see you in a couple of days for the next update thank you so much for watching me and bye bye